Hola amigos, I believe it's day 30, which will mean it's the 27th day I will have walked. Had a good long sleep last night, which is why I didn't leave you a, a, a big message. I was too tired, but I had a long sleep, but I'm still tired. And But I'm focused, and today I'm just going to try and enjoy it. It's the last few days, I'm going to try and soak it all up, be positive, keep a smile on my face, enjoy each new place I pass through and try and uh, finish this walk as I started it full of enthusiasm and um, openness. So the good news is we met some friendly village dogs and they're going to guide us into the next town. We've named them Paco and Raban. <laughs> Paco is the black one and Raban is the white one. I named the white one. So we have guides for the next two kilometers I hope. Oh. So as well as the Irish school, we've just run into a, a group of school kids from just outside Madrid and uh, some of them have really good English and they were chatting away to us and wanted to see our pilgrim passports because um, they just started today and can't believe that we started all the way back in St. John. So uh, we have more little road buddies on, uh, on the Camino at the moment. I'm feeling very good about the Camino and what I'm really happy about is that I'm uh, looking forward to Santiago. Uh, it feels like it would be something complete. I worried in the first week that uh, I was having so much fun out here that it would be uh, anticlimactic or I would feel sad. I'm sure I will feel sad uh, leaving the Camino and leaving the gang and the friends that I've made here but I also feel like I'm ready to finish this Camino and I'm happy for it to end in, I mean, not the best possible way. I just wanted to do a little fake as if I didn't know the camera was there, me walking shot, so I got that in, that was good. <laughs> so we've been walking for the last hour, beautiful walk along the countryside, it's sunny out, our Irish friends are behind us and we're chatting away to one of the teachers there so very pleasant conversation and uh, really really enjoying the walk uh, it's all kind of I'll show you kind of these kind of lame ways with rock walls on either side you pass by tiny little tiny little villages and farmyards so it's beautiful Come on now, Rockbrook. Flagging behind there. Let's go. Get a move on. And now are watching these vlogs. Miles behind me. Come on. Let's go. These are all supposed to be young men. I'm an outfit. Come on. Get cracking. Hello. Can you see it? Right beside me. So, hang on. Let me just get to my vlog. I'm I'm talking to my mum and Bobby on uh, on a bit of FaceTime and at the same time I'm getting some FaceTime with uh, 
El Toro. These cows. Uh, that's so funny, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, mother. Hello there, cow. Hola. Buenos dias. Okay, peeps. Very important milestone. We are now officially. This stone marks the spot. 100 kilometers from Santiago. Hello. Little uh, 10 minute break before the last five kilometers to our lunch break at Porto Marin. Little rest stop here, little shop. Got myself a little cornetto, a little calippo, and a little bottle of Gatorade. Very nice, very peaceful. There's a little pilgrim in the window. Francis, hey. Pablo, Hello. and Krista. Two Spaniards I'm walking with. Yeah. But they both agree that Dublin is the best city in the world. So, <laughs> far. <No. laughs> so fair play to them. I made it, but there's not much places around for lunch. I'm gonna have to lick this wall. Ah, delicious. Right, let's go. Okay, so I've just made it to the beautiful town of Porto Marin. I'm about to have some lunch. Uh, and it is absolutely roast, and I'm gonna have to put more sun cream on. It's a pity we have to pass through here, but we're on a mission. It would be very nice to stay here. Highly recommended. You can't really see it now, but the, the river is beautiful and the town is beautiful. There's money in this town. So I have my cerveza and uh, food on the way. But we're gonna crack on today. This is not the end of today's work. There's a mission to catch the guy's head. The mission will be completed. Not today, maybe not even tomorrow, but very soon. Okay, so I'm walking with Kate and our new friend Mary <laughs> from Brazil, and they said I'm only allowed to speak Spanish. <laughs> they either want to help me learn I don't want to shut me up. Starting now. Yeah, but either way. Uh, either way. <laughs> Buen camino. <laughs> uh, okay. Mucho bueno. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. I understand that it's not proper Spanish. That's for Luis, okay? Luis, Porto Marin, mucho bueno, amigo. Also, just on the camera to say that our new friend Mary is from Brazil. And Luis Guillermo, if you're watching this, I'm not even going to challenge her to any sports because I know that she would redeem Brazil uh, just in the same way that you couldn't. So I'm going to leave the Ireland versus Brazil stuff where it belongs in the past with me victorious. Thank you. Te digo, una hora hasta Gonza. <laughs> Mucho bueno. Hello. Okay, so less than an hour to go to Gonza. I think that's going to be the stop for today. Okay. The bad news, well, it's good news for them. The bad news is that Enrico and the lads ahead of us, they've actually gone further today than we thought they would, which makes them harder to catch tomorrow. But I still think we can catch them on Saturday. Uh, maybe on Thursday. So, just got to keep going, made some good progress today, and uh, it'll be a 30k day by the end of it, so, do some more, before we get the feet up, it'll be, it's now maybe 4 o'clock, we'll be one of the later times of our life, by the time we actually get there, but that's okay, I'm 
Santa is going to be small, one out of burger, I'd say. So, uh, let's get some beer and uh, go to bed This is my thought process right now. I'll give you an update when I'm there. Okay, people. I've just made the uh, albergue in Gonza, roasting out there, 30 kilometer a day, probably more. And uh, well, a big important lesson for anyone watching this who's going to do the Camino. This is in the middle of nowhere. There's no shops around, and there's no pilgrim menu. It's basically just a place for people to crash. As are the next few towns. So I'm going to have to. I've nothing in my bag, so I'm going to have to sort something. It might even be a taxi, a couple of kilometres, which is nothing down the road. But just in case, I always have something in the backpack spare in case the place doesn't have a restaurant, which is very rare. Luckily though, I do have una cerveza in my bag. So I'm going to try and enjoy the last little bit of the sun here in Gonza. <laughs> Surround yourself with problem solvers, okay? And Mary just went randomly through the village. I thought they were having a shower or doing whatever. I was outside having my cerveza. And they've found a place that was closed, the bar. But they've knocked on the door anyway and said, look, here's a few quid. Any bottles of wine? And they said, yeah, here's three. Any food? Yeah, here's some pasta and uh, some tomatoes and some onions and some eggs. And, you know, go and do your thing. So we have a kitchen here and... Uh, about to go down. It's about to go down. Problem solved. Well done to the ladies. Aleman and Brazil coming together to do great things. <laughs> so Pablo, we've been in the same alberga the last few days. How's your, but you started your Camino where? In Leon. In Leon, so, okay. And how have you found the Camino so far? Very um, introspective, you said. Mm -hmm. I an active meditation are really good. You can find lovely Irish people like <laughs> Stephen and German people like him. So very good. Yeah, and do you think that uh, you would come back to do a longer Camino? Of course. Yeah. I want to do it either from Madrid, where mm -hmm. I live, or like you did from, from France. Mm -hmm. I would love to, yeah. Now tell the people, I don't have to tell exactly what, but I noticed that you, like many people, keep a little notebook there. Yeah. What is, well, give me an example of what might be in your notebook on a, on a day. Hmm. Like, okay. I don't know, I like um, having like my memories of the things that I would like to remember in my future. And I also like to paint a lot. So maybe if I see, I don't know, um, paisaje, how do you say? Like, like a view, a yeah, view, yeah, like view. a beautiful view, or birds, or I don't know, dogs, mm -hmm. people. I like to paint it. Oh wow! Okay, I don't know, but I, I do here in the Camino, and I do always. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I yeah, I yeah. Do. What's one thing that has su has surprised you so far? Mm. That I am capable of lots of things, like all the fears that you have in your normal life and all that. You're here alone and it's like, pff, fuck the fears. <laughs> and you, I don't know. Normally I wouldn't have like the confidence to speak with someone like you or Kate or anyone that I've met in the Camino. And here, so I, I love it. Finishing up day 30. It's gas, having a word of Spanish. Well, we've been having a crack here with some uh, Spanish people. Buen camino a todos. Gracias. We have been taking the piss out of each other, it's been very fun. Uh, if only I spoke Spanish, I'd be able to give it the old, you know. <laughs> Gotta be the same guapa. I don't know what that is, but anyway, <laughs> this is the little crew here. I'm saying good night. Oh, look, there's the boys. What did he do? Oh, now, this is Zach and Miguel from Gran Canaria, they're brothers, right? But they were on the news, they were in Ocebrero with me and Kate. And Miguel made the local news. But what did he do on the news? On the camera? Translate. Uh, 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 Nos quedamos sorprendidos cuando llegamos aquí y dijimos, yo, yo, 